welcome back to Friday Football Fever. It's time to turn our attention to Class A. Yeah, LT, we'll start with a team climbing up the statewide pole. Jeff, I believe the team you're talking about is Trinity. In their first three wins, the Titans have outscored their opponents 119 to 18. Beulah is the team with the task of trying to slow down the Titans tonight. The Miners, or the Titans, they wasted no time getting on the board. On their first drive, Jace Kovash goes long to Luke Shobe. He makes the grab, and after an extra point, Trinity leads 7-0. Here's Beulah on their first drive. After a big fourth down conversion, Simon Butchfink takes the direct snap, rushes forward, and loses the ball. The Titans come up with it. Trinity, they're going to look to capitalize on this turnover. Kovash looks right, scrambles. He finds Shobe again in the end zone. The 15-yard touchdown pass doubles the Titans' lead. In the second quarter now, the Titans are on the attack. Kovash again has some time. He finds his brother Jake Shobe in the back of the end zone. Trinity takes a 21-point lead into halftime, and they win this one 42-0 over the Miners. Well, Shiloh Christian was new to the top five in Class A this week. In their first three games, the Skyhawks have outscored their opponents 161 to 35. Hart Rivers coming off a close win over Southern McLean. The Cougars are the road team at Miller Field. Shiloh Christian's second offensive play. The pitch to Isaac Emmel. And Emmel is heading into the end zone with a full head of steam. It's a 16-yard touchdown. On the Skyhawks' next offensive snap, Carter Seifert goes big to Michael Foggerland. He's on the receiving end. It's a 58-yard touchdown. Three plays, two touchdowns for Shiloh. The third possession of the game is the third score for the Skyhawks. It's Seifert to James Wilson. Number eight takes it six yards, and Shiloh Christian's offense is really on a roll. Then Shiloh leading by 26 in the second quarter. The punt to Foggerland. Super cut there right away. Then he will find some blockers on the near side. And then Foggerland opens it up. He would go nearly 70 yards on the special teams touchdown. Shiloh Christian would go on to win tonight by 40, 56-16, the final score. Double A football is up next. For that, we head over to the Queen City. Dickinson is ranked fifth in the division. Midgets are looking to stay unbeaten. Watford City was in town. Dickinson's defense helped set up their first score. Colin Cheddar going over a couple yards out in the Midgets. They take a lead. DHS really rolled in this one. Steven Zoadny goes right, dumps it to Caden Krieg, and look at this, just barrels his way across the goal line. 13-0 Dickinson. Zodney, he's going to go to the air again out of the shotgun. Play action. He looks left across the middle. It's Braden Meshke. He runs underneath it and runs all the way in for the score. At that point, they were up three scores. And the hot hand is going to strike again. It's another touchdown pass, this time nearing the red zone. Maddox Tolman from 21 yards out. Dickinson, they move to 3-0, go 42 to nothing. In Napoleon, the Imperials are hosting the second-ranked Holsteins. New Salem Almont is after its fourth straight win of the year. Here's the Holsteins on the offensive drive. Landon Tellman puts the ball in the hands of Brock Norton, and, well, he makes things happen. Norton makes his way into the end zone for a 25-yard rush. Now the Imperials are looking to get to work. From the three-yard line, it's a quarterback keeper from Joran Jangula who powers his way into the end zone. When the Holsteins need something to happen, they go to Brock Norton. He bounces to the outside. He's going to find some space here, and he's going to kick it up a notch. He shrugs the tackle and heads home for six. New Salem Almont wins this one by 30, 52 to 22. Our 10th and final set of highlights is from Flasher, Grant County Flasher, hosting the unbeaten Lions from Linton HMB. After forcing a quick three and out, Linton HMB marched right down the field, takes the lead. Gentry Richter to Cashman Moser. They convert the two point to go up eight. The rest of the first half was the Jab and Freeze show. First play from scrimmage after Linton score. Freeze keeps it, beats everybody on the right side. 62 yards, two-pointer was good, ball game tied at eight. Storm would force a turnover on downs, face a third and short, go for the sneak. All they needed was two, but Freeze gives them much more. Somehow, breaks out of the huddle, breaks away from everyone. They led it 14-8, to eight. and that's the way it was the rest of the way. A uh, barn burner, 34-30. The Storm go on to win. Southern McLean also wins tonight, shutting out Hazen. It was Kildare over Bowman County. EKM drops Mayport CG and Carrington over Thompson. 
Beach was a 42-30 winner over Kidder County. Central McLean, 58-26 over MLS. College volleyball, you married drops too. So does DSU to Winnipeg and Montana Northern. In tennis today, we had Cheyenne over Legacy. Bismarck beats North, that's Minot North, and Cheyenne over Mandan. In soccer, Dickinson 4-3 over Mandan. Capital City swimming invite won by Century. They still will be swimming tomorrow. And the Twins pick up a 5-2 win over the Mets. Thanks for watching Friday Football Fever. First is at 10 continues when we come back.